yeah, octopus is dead. It uh, showed no signs of any movement whatsoever, but the arms are still responsive. The pupils show no dilation whatsoever. They were completely hidden away. You can kind of see them there. I am going to regretfully cut this one up. Um, here is the set of first set of forearms here. And the tentacles, as I mentioned earlier, the arms are still moving and the octopus is deceased. This is arm number two. here to determine which one is the third arm. It would be indicative of this being a male or female. Yeah. Four arms there. Second arm. This would be the third arm, and the end is missing, so I am unsure of which is which here. Um, here are the back two legs here, the two arms. Again, the octopus was totally unresponsive while it was in there, um, but the body is showing some signs of movement, even though it is not has not been moving. And I will begin by opening up the area here in the mantle. I suspect it to be a female. I'm going to slice and open the mantle here. Continue to slice upwards here. As you can see, there are two parts there. suspected this is a female. The 
can see there's a number of eggs. There's the eggs. I'm going to remove those, place them in the water that I have over here, and then search for anything resembling sperm here. There are the there are the eggs. They're all contained within there. I can place those aside in some water. Now I have to try and figure out what is sperm and what is something else. quite sure what any of this stuff is inside the anatomy here. And as you can see, there's a number of different organs here. I know that these are the hearts. I'm unclear on what this is. These are, I believe those, I don't know. Again, I'm not exactly certain what I'm looking for inside of this. are the gills. This is part of the digestive tract here. It goes up there. It goes around. I believe these are part of it too, but I'm unclear on what that part is. around here.
focus on that area there for now. So I'm attempting to separate the digestive tract. See there, there's the ink sac. I believe this would be part of the stomach here. As I separate these pieces, I don't know what those are. parts that I have identified. I have gills, hearts, uh, I'm not sure what that is, but it is not long and stringy. I believe this is all part of the digestive tract here. So you've got some sort of stomach here. We have the crop and the, the stomach, and then we have the digestive piece there. So here's the entire digestive system here. Goes up from there, goes along into there. thing I can think of is that potentially these would be part of that. Uh, they do not appear to be necessarily a part of the female, but I do think in diagrams I saw something. I can open these up before I do that. Zoom in a little bit more. is in these. It's not appear that there's anything inside of those. Moving the gill and the heart here.
There is the circulatory system basically, and a heart, gills, and hopefully it will focus. I need to zoom out a little bit here. This is the mantle in its entirety. You can see that things are still flaring here. There is some something inside the skin here. There's a mass inside the, the mantle here, embedded in the, the mantle itself. I'm going to cut into it to see what it is. This looks to be a little piece of growth or flesh. See the mantle is moving still as well. The, uh, these animals are able to, to do a lot of movement afterwards. Going back to the digestive tract here. Let's see, I cut into the ink a little bit here. Just the track. It's all the way around. Let's go ahead and slice these open, see if there's anything inside. It's not up here, it's eaten in the wild here. Oh, ink all over me.
There's another uh, organ, I don't know what that is. Perhaps it's a muscle or something. Or maybe it's the brain, I don't know. Got several parts here. I'm going to remove the digestive system and the ink fully pops. here, or two organs here, um, which are inside the head. I'll slice these open and see what they were. It just feels like potentially a muscle. It feels like the foot of a clam. Uh, this leads into the stomach and the crop, and then, or what I think are the stomach and the crop, and obviously the ink sac that I pop. Just goes along there. And that is the digestive tract. Side. This is the head of the octopus. There is the siphon. Again, there is no, no signs of any of the other body parts here. Uh, no, no sign of a spermatoform anywhere. And flipping it over, there is the beak. See inside there, surrounded by the buccal gland. Suckers are still grabbing on. Um, Again, there is no signs of uh, any sort of spermatophore that I could distinguish. Um, you know, it leads me to believe that these are pretty solitary animals here, and that the deposition of the spermatophore uh, has not occurred, so perhaps these are a little too juvenile, even though it had an egg, fully formed egg sac. And the arms are still, still moving, as I said, even though this one was looking almost completely dead last night after tangling with the other one. Chromatophores are still firing here. Um, but. All right. Well, unfortunately, I didn't find any spermatophores, and I do not have a deceased male other than a frozen one right now. So I don't really have anything to mix, this, mix with the eggs, but I will try and save them. Um, I clip them in the tank in some high flow, and we'll see what happens.